Hello to Canada from Slovenia. My name is Urška and I am a beekeeper. Uh, this is my apiary with 27 beehive. One beehive in one is one box. As you can see these different colors, each of them is one hive for one bee colony. So in one hive is one bee colony. One bee colony is composed by one queen bee, around 40,000 bee workers. That is a lot. It's like a full football stadium of people. So a lot and around 1,000 drones that are male bees. In Slovenia, we work with the hives like this, if you can see, because maybe in Canada, I think you have different kind of, of hives that it are boxes put it on the floor. So here in Slovenia, most of the beekeepers, we have this apiarium. So maybe it will be interesting to see what's behind these hives in the so-called apiary. So welcome to the apiary. It's like a resting room. So these are the hives from behind. It's from here that I work. It is like this. You open the doors here, you remove this net, and if you have to work with the bees, you work from here. Right now, I will not open it because the bees are hard working right now, so I don't want to disturb them. I disturb them only when it is necessary. But I will show you what I put inside of the hive. It's like I put the frame, this is the frame. I put this frame, like open the doors, open the net, put this frame inside, and then ta-da, magically, after some week, when you put out, you have a built frame with honeycombs. These are honeycombs. This is 100% bees work. They make these honeycombs from wax. Bees also produce, produce uh, wax with their glands. And then in these honeycombs, they put honey, like we can see here, it's honey. Mm -hmm. And then when it's prepared to be stored, they close it with wax. So that's it. What is really fascinating about bees is their work, or better their mission. I think like this because while they are collecting food for themselves, when they collect nectar and pollen from different flowers and blooming trees, they are pollinating plants and making abundance. Imagine what a beautiful job they have. While they are collecting food for themselves, at the same time they help to produce food for us, humans and also for many animals, and at the same time they help plants to, to reproduce. Because if we want that plants and vegetables grow, we need pollinators and honeybees are one of them. So how can this, the bees inspire us with their work? We can do something good for us and for the bees by planting a tree or honey plant. I'm going to show you how you can plant a honey herb and make a good thing for our planet. So, okay, we are going to do cuttings from these perennial herbs. Um, we have here sage, rosemary, lavender and thyme. Uh, 
in Slovenia we grow or maybe in this part of Slovenia where I live we grow these herbs outside because also the winters are not so cold but I think that in Canada you need to put them inside indoor during the winter so but it's not a problem then you have in the house or in the apartment during the winter and then in the summer you just put on your window or on your balcony or in your garden if you have one so i'm going to show you how we do more plants with cutting so we need a drained soil we put this soil in the pot like this we will do two cuttings you can also grow with the seeds, but it's easier with cuttings. Like this. And then make sure that during the winter you put on the window that is the most sunny in your apartment. So we do cuttings in, in spring or in autumn. Um, right now here it's a little bit late, but anyway we can also do cuttings. I can also show you. Because you see the sage is almost going to, it's almost blooming. So I cut here that it's still a little bit of wood. Putting like this. Putting down these leaves. Like this. Like this. And then this. We put in the soil in the pot and then we will do also one cutting from rosemary so if you see I cut here that it's still a little bit of wood and then I put down leaves cut a little bit and the end and it's prepared to put in the soil so from one plant you can make a lot a lot of cuttings no so every year from the beginning of course you need a plant but maybe someone can, can give you one cutting and then you start to produce a lot of herbs so when we plant them, we water them. From the beginning, they need more water. It's like that the soil is all the time a little bit wet, but then once they are grow like this, uh, you don't need to water them a lot. You just water them when the soil become um, dry. So, and then when you have this in your apartment, you can use these leaves for, for herbal teas. That is really good herbal tea from these herbs and also for cooking. And that's it. So when your planted herbs will start blooming, the bees will come to collect nectar and pollen and you can observe them while they are doing their wonderful job. With nectar, they produce honey. Do you like honey? Mmm, I like honey very much. But what I recommend you here is to eat honey very consciously. We need to think about how much effort and wisdom it is in every drop of honey. Remember, one honeybee in all her life produces one teaspoon of honey. So one spoon of honey is a lifetime work of one bee. We need to be thankful to the bees. We need to look around us and listen to the voice of the bees and nature. You, my dear kids, are the future of this world and the bees are inviting you in their garden of abundance. So for the end now, I'm inviting you to find the beehive within yourself. 
so we can do it uh, we will do like this like putting our feet lightly together like this come on try it okay stop for a while and now while i'm doing this sound we will put our hand hands on our ears so let's do it As you can hear it, this is really relaxing. So if you need to relax or you are angry or something, you can always come in these beehives within yourself whenever you need to. It's always the bees are always with you. So thank you for letting me sharing these informations with you. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, Sending you a lot of love from me and from bees and I wish you a happy World Bees Day. Thank you. Bye bye.